Thanks, Suzanne. Yeah, thanks, Great Suzanne. Now, our children's health is always something that we worry about, isn't it? Dr. Range is here now with his children's health clinic, and obviously holidays are coming up, uh, Range. And uh, Eamon always laughs at me because I always take my little first aid kit. Says, what do you need all that Except for? Except it's not a little no, first aid big, kit, it's actually. a suitcase. It's quite big. <laughs> but he always says to me, you can get all that stuff there. But I said, yes, but if you suddenly have diarrhoea on holiday, you don't want to waste that time. Do you having to find a chemist and get something? Exactly. So I take... Too busy running to bring a cork. Oh, shit. Sure. 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 <laughs> <laughs> well, that's the thing. Lots of people ask, what should I pack? And you, the temptation is to pack everything, but you can't. It's not possible, it's not feasible, and it's not practical. So I narrow it down to five things. And this applies to kids as for, well as adults. For, oh, right, OK, kids yeah. as well, right. But it's a family pack. It's a family pack, but I, I, I think these are great for kids. Yeah. Five different things. Remember soap with two Ps on the end. Mm -hmm. First of all, sun protection. Mm -hmm. So there are, we've got some some products here but there are br other brands available sun protection so sunblock spf 30 at least uh, make sure it's got uva protection as well as uvb excuse me can you still tan a lot of people will, will think that sunblock stops them tanning it makes it harder to tan but uh -huh. remember tanning is a sign that your skin is reacting mm -hmm. to the sun and trying to protect Damage. itself yeah. exactly so sun protection that includes eye eye protection making sure that you wear hats and going out into the shade and taking breaks and things the O stands for oral rehydration solution, so that's if you've got and the that runs. that doesn't mean beer. <laughs> no, no, no unfortunately not. Oral rehydration solution not only rehydrates you, but it replaces salts, and it's very easy to pick up tummy bugs whilst you're on holiday. Yeah. It's the last thing you want. So that's if you have had the trots or the runs. Exactly, or the, exactly. It's, it's a great way to stay rehydrated. And actually, it's that's very dangerous it. for children, isn't it, to get dehydrated? Especially in hot weather. Yeah. Absolutely. The A stands for anti-allergy. So an allergic reaction, the last place you want it to happen is mm. on holiday. It's mm. quite common. You never know what you might react to, but anti-allergy stuff will help combat that. Obviously, if it's severe, mm -hmm. you're going to have to seek Does that help, help with hay fever as well? But... Absolutely. It's the same stuff. It's an antihistamine, so mm -hmm. any kind of allergic reaction, mm. bites, Hay Things, fever, yeah. you know. And do you have to get specific ones for children? Are there differences between the adult versions and the children's version? No, or? the generic ones are usually appropriate for kids and adults, but have a chat with the pharmacist where you're mm -hmm. getting it from. Okay. And they'll be able to point you in the right direction. The P, the first P is for pain and fever control. So the, this is your paracetamols mm. and your ibuprofens. Um, multitude of uses. Temperature control, if anyone hurts themselves or something's hurting, you know, you're going to have to pack that. It's pretty mm. essential. And the last one, last but not least, is plasters and bandages. Because mm. kids I love take to those explore. Eamon always gets blisters with his new flip flops. It. See, it's useful for adults <laughs> as I do. well. I do, but now that I wear Crocs, I find Ruth, Ruth, what? She bans me. She oh. bans me. <laughs> but plasters for kids, scratches, grazes. Absolutely. Yeah. Exactly. So, what was that? Soap with two P's. Soap with two P's. Sunblock. S O A P. Hydration. Yeah, lovely. Okay. Now we've uh, we're going to bring Ella in, aren't we? Because we're we doing are, some, yeah. some first aid, and it is always terrifying if something serious happens to your child. Hello, Ella. And people. Hi, Ella. In you come. People always talk about if you. The reason you panic is because you don't know what to do. Where if you know what to do, hopefully you don't panic until afterwards. Exactly. I mean, first aid essential to know a little bit if you're going to go away anyway, especially with kids. So the first thing we're going to talk about is choking. That big fear that everyone Scary. has, everybody panics, especially if you're a parent. Now, f if someone is choking on whatever it is, quite common in kids... You could do a bit of acting, choking acting, Ella. Come on, <laughs> choke. <laughs> well, if they've got, a, if they've got a, a cough and they're able yeah. to breathe, encourage them to cough it out, okay. lean them slightly forwards and get them to try and cough it out, obviously. Cough. God. <laughs> <laughs> Ella's not going to show us today. But if they, if they continue to choke, if it's not coming out, or they're looking like they're having difficulties breathing, you're going to need to do something. Yeah. So the first thing is call the emergency services. Second thing, act. Now, there's two ways to go. Slightly different for children under one and everyone else over one. First things first, open the mouth and have a look inside the mouth. If there's anything obvious that you can get to really easily, then try and take it out. If not, don't go fishing because you might push it back down. The next thing you need to do is lean them forward. Mm. So this is in a, a child over one we'll start yeah. off with. Lean them forward and give them five what we call back blows. And those are sharp blows between the shoulder blades mm. with the palm of your hand. So one, two, three, four. And quite hard, and obviously. You can't they are do hard, that but I'm not going to do that yeah. to Ella at the moment. <laughs> and check whether they've coughed it out. If that hasn't worked, then you're going to need to move on to something called an abdominal thrust, which used to be called the Heimlich manoeuvre. Why has mm. it changed the name? Uh, I don't know. 
understand why they've changed it actually it's really hard to say the Heimlich maneuver yeah, exactly <laughs> so the, the way to do that is you have to stand behind the person use the fist of one hand and place it just under the arms between the belly button and the rib cage yeah put your other hand over the top and it's a short sharp inwards and upwards motion so up like this yeah. okay and that again is five times and then after that you check whether they've coughed it out if they have fantastic anyone that's had an abdominal thrust should get checked over by a medical professional anyway um, if they're continuing to get worse hopefully the emergency services will be on their way but you carry on doing those cycles of five and five so keep on keep doing those okay babies it's slightly different I'm gonna come over here and show you about babies because I've left baby. my left my little little friend Bob <laughs> here babies for, again check the airway try and get it out if it's easily Second. accessible Back blows, same way, lean them forward, five back blows like we did the Ella. With babies, you don't do abdominal thrusts, you do chest thrusts. That's mm. middle of the chest, few fingers, inwards and upwards, oh. five again, and you repeat those in cycles of five. Okay. Doctor, right. thank you very much indeed. Superb. You know, I, did, I did a first aid course, particularly for babies, when Jack was first born. I felt so much better when I'd done it, because you imagine all these awful things are going to happen. Exactly. And actually just knowing what to do, fortunately, touch wood, it never did, but if it had, just knowing what to do would be a huge That's it. Exactly. Help. And it's basic, so yeah. it really isn't complicated. Thank you. And thank you, Ella. Lovely choking and things going on there. Thank you very much. Um, and if you missed any of that, if you'd like any advice, further advice and information, all on our website. Yeah, no, I do have to say, so when you're packing for the holiday, one, two, three, four, five items, not five Well, pieces. he hasn't got stuff for mouth ulcers, he hasn't got anything for indigestion that you always get. Oh, I, I mean, get like, a yes, event, exactly, yes. you'd be thanking oh, me for maybe, that. Yeah. Anyway, mm. wet, 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 they're performing after the break, and if you were asking, yes, it is them. What are they live. performing? Good night, girl. Oh, oh I, I love, love that, that one. We after love that. this.